Now for part B, we're asked to work out then the distance run in the first 64 seconds. And to do this, what we need to do is work out the area under the graph up to the 64 seconds. So if I was to just section this off up to here, okay? So we're looking at the area of this shape here. And the quickest way that we could do this is not think of it necessarily as a triangle plus a rectangle, but to think of this shape as a trapezium. And you should know how to find the air of a trapezium. The air of the trapezium is equal to the sum of the parallel sides, that's those two, that is add those two sides together, multiply it by the distance apart, which will be this distance, and divide that answer by two. So if we do that sum then, we've got that that distance equals the air of the trapezium, which as I said, would be the sum of the parallel sides. So we can start with this length up here. That goes from 4 to 64, so it's obviously got to be 60 units, so that's 60, plus the length of this side down here, that's going from 0 to 64, so that's going to be 64 multiply it by the distance between the parallel lines, that distance is going to be 5 units. So you multiply it by 5 and you divide all of this answer by 2, you halve it. So if you work that out, what you end up with is 310. So the distance travelled is 310 metres in those first 64 seconds. Okay.